Hello, I'm Caleb and I'm an intern at You Matter at Chico State and it is currently National Eating Disorder Awareness Week. So I thought I would take the time to talk a little bit about my story and debunk the myth behind the stereotypical media portrayal of someone with an eating disorder. Um, disclaimer, when I'm talking about eating disorders, I'm talking about anorexia and bulimia and not binge eating disorder. The reason behind that is Binge eating disorder has its own separate set of stereotypes. Um, so a little bit about me. I've had an eating disorder for 18 years. Um, it developed when I was 15 and I'm currently 33. And throughout that time, I've been diagnosed with anorexia, bulimia, and a mashup between the two. And moving on to the stereotype. Now, that patient is a female and she is young, white, and very thin. And I have problems with all of that. So let's start with female. The media always portrays the eating disorder patient as female. Always. Like, you never see a guy with an eating disorder in the media. And that's a problem. Um, nine out of ten patients are female, but there are a ton of guys with eating disorders. And in fact, I think the number is probably higher than what they realize because due to the stereotype, it tends to be underreported. Um, I have a problem with the stereotype because I'm a trans guy, um, so I'm half female. Um, and eating disorders aren't uncommon in the trans community. All right, she's white. Uh, again, the majority of patients are white, but that's not to say that it doesn't exist in other ethnicities and other cultures. Um, unfortunately, it, in terms of treatment, it is a lot more taboo in certain cultures, so those people tend not to reach out to get help. All right, she's young. <laughs> the funny thing about this is the media acts like there's a time limit. Like the eating disorder patient is either a teenager or early 20s max. Now, a lot of people, it does manifest in their teenage years. I mean, it certainly did for me, but I didn't hit a certain age and it was like, oh, we're done, we're cured. Like it can't go on any longer. <laughs> um, at a certain point, um, I was in an intensive outpatient program and at 31 I was the youngest person there and <laughs> the oldest person was 72. Um, you are never too old to have an eating disorder. It can manifest at any age. It manifests in children, teenagers, and adults, but there is no age limit and you can get help at any time. The last myth is probably the most dangerous myth and that is you have to be really thin to get help. Eating disorders can manifest at any weight. It doesn't matter how skinny you are, it doesn't matter how big you are. You can be clinically obese and still have anorexia. <laughs> if you're displaying eating disorder behaviors, then you should probably get help for your eating disorder. Um, people have this feeling that their eating disorder isn't valid and that they can't get help until they're thin enough. But the thing is, is there is no thin enough. It never happens. Um, unfortunately, this myth also carries over into the medical community where sometimes you aren't seen as valid by a medical professional. And that is a horrible, horrible thing to have happened. Um, I was extremely lucky. Um, when I was in treatment, um, I have weighed a lot less than I currently do, and I have weighed a lot more than I currently do, but I was fortunate that my team didn't, didn't care. Like, they wanted me to be a healthy weight, but I wasn't going to be kicked out of treatment once I reached a certain weight. Um, and it, it would have been very unfortunate if they did. Um, it is one thing to get to a healthy weight um, it is another thing to actually deal with the mental portion of this disease. Um, eating disorders are the most fatal of any mental illness. Um, actually, anorexia is the most fatal, but bulimia has a big slew of health risks as well, and one of them is heart attack, so you can die from bulimia. If you think your eating disorder isn't valid, and you think that you're not thin enough to get help, you can die. And that's something that you probably don't want to have happen. So you need to reach out. Um, you're valid. 
So yeah, that is my debunking of the stereotypes. Um, don't pay attention to any of the myths. Um, if you feel that you need help, but you don't know where to go, um, there are plenty of resources online. And if you go to the National Eating Disorder Association's website, um, also known as NIDA, they actually have a chat service. Um, you can chat with someone online or you can call them and they can help you find treatment. So again, you are valid. Your eating disorder is valid. Don't pay attention to the myths. There's help out there and you can get it.